Welcome to another edition of Lake Vantage Lab, where we bring you a wealth of information about the science and the products. In my upcoming book, Deadly Antioxidants, I detail how your daily vitamins may be causing problems and shortening your life. And today, I wanted to talk to you about antioxidants. Could everything you know about antioxidants actually be wrong? Free radicals is a catch-all term for a whole family of reactive oxygen molecules, what we generally call reactive oxygen species. They're reactive and they can react with and damage different parts of our cells. So if you think about free radicals, they come to us from sunlight, they come to us from air pollution. We create them when we breathe, we create them when we convert food into energy. So free radicals are all around us. When we have too many of them, they can cause damage to our cell membranes, so a cell doesn't communicate with the cells around it very well. It can damage our mitochondria, so that that mitochondria inside of our cells can't generate energy as effectively as it, as it ought to. And it can damage, these free radicals can damage our DNA, leading to all kinds of problems with cellular replication and cellular function. So free radicals in general are a bad thing when there's too many of them. We protect ourselves though with antioxidants. Antioxidants are the counterbalance to free radicals. Antioxidants protect us from that free radical damage. And we get them from a variety of places. Some of our antioxidants are exogenous. They come to us from outside the body. These are our dietary antioxidants. If we think about nutritional antioxidants like C and E, these work on free radical protection on a one-to-one -one basis. One molecule of vitamin E against one molecule of a, of a particular free radical. Our endogenous, our en enzymatic antioxidants, superoxide dismutase, catalase, all of the ones that our body produces, things like glutathione peroxidase, are a million to one because of the way that they work enzymatically. They don't get, they don't get used up. They can fight and fight and fight and fight and fight and continue to protect us from a variety of different free radical sources. That's why they're so much more effective. That's what antioxidants are, the way to protect our body. And there are certain ways you can do antioxidants and certain ways you should avoid. When I talk about deadly antioxidants, I'm really talking about over supplementation with antioxidants. It's very easy to do. If you look at many multivitamins, if you look at a lot of the antioxidant supplements that are on the shelf, these are huge doses of isolated synthetic antioxidants that really upset the body's natural balance, upset that antioxidant network. So instead of protecting you, these high dose synthetic isolated antioxidants are actually causing cellular damage. They're causing more damage than they're worth. They're leading to health problems, and there's a vast array of scientific data that shows us this is true. But you might be asking yourself, what do I do? How do I protect myself? We protect ourselves with NERF2 Synergy, the future of cellular protection. And what I mean by that is that instead of taking antioxidants, we should be making antioxidants, not taking those vitamin E's and vitamin C's and beta carotenes and seleniums, the list goes on and on. Instead, we should be encouraging our body by activating this NERF2 pathway, by inducing this NERF2 protein and getting our body to produce its own antioxidants. Make them, don't take them. Because what that does is it protects us not only from free radicals in the body, but this NERF2 pathway really is like a cellular thermostat for overall cellular stress. And when that NERF2 pathway is induced, when we synergize it appropriately, our body activates a whole family of protective survival genes that help us to survive, help, help to protect ourselves, and help to clean up the damage that comes with free radical damage. That's the future of cellular medicine right now. That's the future of where nutritional science is going, teaching the body to manufacture its own antioxidants so that we don't have to take them anymore. So what else can you do to protect yourself? Eat a rainbow every day. By that, I mean to choose your foods based on their color and based on their brightness. All of those colors are indicative of a high level of a certain kind of phytonutrient. And we need little bits of each one of those every single day for optimal health. That's the antioxidant network that I was referring to earlier. We wanna eat small amounts 
all combined together. And you know what? Mother Nature has already put these in these wonderful little balanced packages that are called fruits and vegetables. So a few final thoughts. For more information about my upcoming book, Deadly Antioxidants, you can go to the lifevantage.com website and go in the science section. There, you can even download a PDF of the first chapter to get a perspective for what I'm talking about here. You can also download and listen to an audio file of a radio tour that I did in April where I talk about the book and the material in it. If you have any questions about the products or the science behind our products, you can email us directly at the email address below, productquestions at lifevantage.com. This is Dr. Sean Talbot. I'll see you next time.